So as I promised a few weeks ago, yes, I'm going to talk about my new BU chair. I mean, I'll have had it about a month or so by the time you're watching this, but I wanted to talk about it, you know, while it's still relatively fresh and just so I can sort of explain my, my first thoughts. But a little funny side story, uh, I might mention it in early videos, I can't remember, but there's a video by Markiplier for the game Close Your Eyes and I put a comment on that because I think some point during the video, if I recall, it was like chair recommendations. I want like a really good supportive one that I could use in different ways. And I, you know, already sort of put the, I don't think it was Kickstarter I used, but some kind of thing like that, you know, some crowdsourced or crowdfunded thing. And I was like, yeah, the BU chair, you know, I'll, I'll keep people updated. And there's been regular comments like, any news on the chair? And I've been like, well, still waiting. And then it should be shipping soon. And then, well, apparently it's shipped, but I'm waiting to receive it. And then finally, I, I did put a comment saying, yes, I now have it. I've set it up and it seems to be good so far. It does recommend like two people for putting the seat onto the piston as any office chair, you know, it's got like the riser on the seat. But I did that on my own because I was just bored. Uh, I just needed to do something. So I, I put it together. It was awkward and it wasn't quite fully on. I didn't realize and I was like, oh wait, that's why it's a bit rickety. And I put it down and yeah, it's really comfy. It's really wide. Uh, the point of it is you can put it in different configurations. I'll hopefully have some pictures of it. If not, it'll at least be from the marketing material so you can get an idea. But it's got sort of wings instead of arms, so you can fold those down and use them cross-legged, or you can lie across it, you can put one up and lean, or things like that. And it's easily, you know, just lifts up and down. The backrest can be used as a backrest, of course, but you can also turn the chair around and it can be used as a surface. I actually did it when I was trying to get some music for an event. I had Spotify, my main PC, in front of me, and some stuff on the laptop that I was going to take with me and I've basically put it on the on the on the headrest technically the backrest should I say um just sort of leveled out and I could sort of work like that and it was very nice you can also sit on the backrest and sort of have your legs a bit folded if you want to do some mindfulness or meditation kind of things uh you can also put cats on there which is part of the purpose as well I was like yep yeah, I'm gonna flip it and one of the cats was fine on it the other one didn't want to be on there but the good thing about having the wings is I can fold it up if I, if I want, but uh, if I wanted to play guitar or anything like that, sat down, not having fixed arms on a chair is great because I've got room for the body. So it means that I can adapt it to what I want at the time. The other good thing is I was, I failed, I, I messed up, but I, I was going to restring an instrument, uh, mandolin, and I could lay the mandolin on the backrest turned around. So I'd actually got a surface that was at a decent height to work on. It was a lot easier than trying to just do it here or, you know, sort of try and hold it and or put it onto random things. I actually had a good surface to use. Now, yeah, it wasn't cheap. Uh, even when I crowdfunded it, you know, it, it was still a decent chunk, less than if you went to buy it new now. I believe it's like a grand or something. But one of the things that a lot of people had a problem with is the shipping so when it came round to finally having it you know ready for fulfillment people got sent a link you know click this link pay for your shipping and it'll get to you and that shipping was about 250 dollars for most people regardless of territory that to me says we've made all these we've gone ridiculously underfunded uh, you know, we've maybe had costs that we didn't realize. So we've got to recover those costs somehow. So let's bump up the shipping costs. A lot of people have that belief. I don't know where I sit. I can understand that. But I I think there is an element of, yes, shipping a box of, you know, an office chair in pieces. It's not cheap. So I'm not thinking it was just a cash grab. I do think they should have been more upfront and maybe sort of got a, you know, a higher budgeting thing, you know, from, from, from the start. I think they should have realize just how much it might have cost a lot of the delays have come because of you know the, the pandemic and all that kind of stuff which obviously a lot of people have been moaning about that but that's something that's outside of their control they were having it built in china and things like that and china were being very strict about in, you know stuff coming in and out of the country so they were kind of a bit limited so i've never held that against them you know the fact that there were some delays I saw some of a live stream that was meant to be putting people at ease. It was meant to be explaining things, you know, like why are we charging this, etc. But I do think that was poorly handled. I will concede on that. A lot of people felt it was just, it became just trying to save face. There were accusations that it wasn't live, but I'm not, I'm not getting into that. It seemed fine for me. But a lot of people, yeah, felt it was just, we're trying to look good. We're trying to sort of say, we're doing what we can, but it, it did come off as a marketing ploy. 
and I think that was a bad move. Uh, I do agree on that one. But in general, considering what you'll pay for you know, a gaming chair, like a high-end one, I think, by comparison, the fact that I don't have this in just one mode, I can recline on this, I can do all sorts of stuff, I can use this as a whole workstation, in a sense. I, I think it's fine. It, does it justify the entire cost and the weight? No. But it does go a long way. So, if, you know, I'll put a link to the site. I'm not sponsored at all. This is literally, I did the pre-order, did the, you know, the crowdfunding thing, and I'm happy with what I've got, for the most part. There were problems, but that happens a lot. I mean, with crowdfunding anything, there's risk. I, you know, I have stocks and shares, ISIS and stuff like that. There's risks involved in a lot of stuff. Walking across the road has risks. If you don't take risks sometimes, what are you doing with your life? So, yeah. I do think that, all in all, if you can afford it, I, I, you know, and you want something that isn't just a chair, go for it. I don't think you'll be upset. And if you are, don't come crying to me. <laughs> but that's all I want to say about the BU chair, my experience with it. And, yeah, if, you, if you've got one, whether pre-ordered or down the line, let me know your findings. You know, if, if you really don't get on with it, that's fine. Just try and be respectful and constructive with the criticism. And yeah, until next time, as always, thank you for watching and take care.